Hey guys, it's Sydney Sweeney and I am going to walk you through my skincare routine and my go-to soft glam makeup look. So, let's get started. I have really sensitive, horrible combination skin and if I don't mix a exfoliant and a gel cleanser, my skin doesn't let makeup sit on my face. It continually just splits and I have to redo my makeup throughout the day. It took me a while to actually find the cleansers that would work for me. I would watch as many videos, as many tutorials, and I finally actually in the last like year and a half found these two. So I kind of just mixed the two. After I wash my face, I always put a serum on that kind of helps soak in all of the skincare products before I put on my makeup to protect my skin from the makeup. I use the Skin Cuticle CE Frulic Serum. Growing up, my skin was all over the place. I have really sensitive combination skin, and so I would break out in horrible cystic acne. It was to the point that I would beg my mom not to send me to school, and I was just super self-conscious, and it was hard finding products that worked for me, that didn't break me out, that didn't make me red, and it was kind of like this very long journey that I kind of just had to stay on board for and figure it all out. And I finally found products that work for me, even though I still still do break out because my skin is sensitive and I work a lot, so I wear a lot of makeup. But being able to really focus on taking care of the skin and the products helps calm it all down. Next, I put eye cream on and I actually just recently got into eye cream. So when I was in 10th grade, I tried to put toothpaste all over my face because I read somewhere that if you put toothpaste on your face, it would make your acne go away. And I had the worst reaction to that you could possibly have. And my zits were horrible to the point that I ended up putting band-aids all over my face and I went to school like that. So don't try that if you have really sensitive skin. Next, I'm gonna use this face cream. It is one of the only creams that I found that helps my skin keep makeup in place. I actually like using a quite like a nice, generous dab. So after that, I usually put sunscreen on. This is the only sunscreen that I have found that doesn't break me out. I used to be terrified of sunscreen because it would just give me rashes. I would just break out everywhere on my body and on my face. And so I actually went years without using it. And I realized that that's not a good idea. Like a little dab. I started only drinking water when I was about 13 years old and it has helped me tremendously, especially now as I got older with my skin, I can tell if I'm drinking enough water or not. And if I'm not, my skin feels drier and duller and when I drink more, it's, it helps it glow uh, and it's healthier. After I do my skincare, I put on some Burt's Bees chapstick. I literally have one of these in every single purse So after I let my skincare set for a little bit, I move on to my makeup and I start with this Tarte Poreless Primer. It's a mattifying primer. Because I get oily and I have combination skin, I don't like being shiny. I know it's like a thing in its end, but I personally just don't like it. So I tend to use a lot of mattifying products. Like, look at a little. Also, I have a permanent black eye, bruised eye, because I got in a wakeboarding accident when I was younger and it's never gone away. So I always have that, which is annoying. I have a little friend who uh, decided to come out and play and we're gonna cover them. So I, when I have like redness or breakouts, I use this Il Maquillage foundation. I just put a little dab on here and then I actually spread it with my finger. And then I take this beauty blender and just tap. And I start from the bottom and I build up so that I can control the coverage and how much I use. 
so. When I started wearing makeup, my mom only allowed me to use Bare Minerals powder. And because I was only allowed to use that, and I think I was about 13 years old, I had no idea what to do. So I would literally like dab my brush in there and just pour it all over my face and it did not look great. <laughs> I really dab it in a lot because I don't like to look like I'm wearing makeup. So next I actually take this Becca Brightening Eye Cream. It's I found that when I put concealer on right away, it, it turns a little gray. So if I put this lightning cream on, it kind of brightens the concealer and, and helps bring everything just to life. So just kind of, you don't need too much, just like a little bit. Then on top, the concealer uses this Glossier Stretch Concealer. I actually use this to cover up any dots as well and i actually start down here and then i bring it i bring it up if i knew all of these tricks i would have been much happier in school i wish that i could tell my 16 self-conscious self that it was just a journey and just love yourself more than what your skin tells you, and honestly, happiness shines through anything, and people can see what's inside. And acne goes away, so. I take this NARS concealer, it's like this little guy right here. I just dab a little. I just kind of put it on any really bad redness or zits, and my little miracle worker. Glossier cloud paint. I love it so much, it's just, I feel like it looks so natural on you. You just put like a really tiny dot and then I spread it again and just dab it a little. Smile, I always focus it on my cheeks and then lightly bring it up, not too much though, so. I bring it onto my nose to bring some color because I like to look sun-kissed. And then a little bit on my forehead. So after I do that, I go back over the concealer, just tap it a little bit to make sure that there's no creases before I set it with powder, because you don't want that. I didn't know that trick until my, my makeup artist taught me that, so good one. But I take this Charlotte Tilbury powder and I take this RT brush and I just, Then I take this brush and I just dab it in and I kind of avoid my cheek where my blush is, but I put it down here a little bit. Then I use this Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a contour and highlight palette. Just put it in. Your face is kind of like this art palette and there's a never ending a never ending canvas that you get to play with. And I love being able to have more freedom with expressing myself through makeup. I've become more confident with makeup because of Euphoria. And I realized that there's nothing really wrong that you could do. Like, yeah, you wanna make sure that you have the right colors and blend and all that. But when it comes to creating art on your face, there, there's nothing wrong. Like you could put any color anywhere and and just be happy about it. Then I take this brush and I just use a little bit of highlight and I focus just like right here because I don't like the shine, but I only like it where I can put it. So I try to, especially because I travel so much, I try to keep my makeup bag as small as possible. So I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow. So I take, this brush, or sometimes I'll take my finger even, and I put it in the contour, and I focus right here. I 
And then I bring it underneath as well. And I like it when it's a little smudgy and not so perfect because I'm still learning, so. I'm gonna take that. And then depending on color, I have a couple of these Glossier, um, they're like this Lid Star gel cream that you can just tap on your, your eye. And you wanna put it right on your lid. You don't wanna go over that line so that you don't mess up with the shadow and the definition of your eye. And then I use a brown eyeliner because I think black with my eyes just it gets a little harsh depending on the look that I want to do and right now I want to keep it a little softer. I'm proud of myself right now. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a match. So. I'm speechless. I take that smudge brush again and I kind of smudge it out. Also a good trick if you can't get it straight, I take these pointed Q-tips and then you just kind of this is actually the first eyelash curler my mom ever allowed me to use. I know you're supposed to trade them out and get new ones, but I just love it so much. And I've tried different curling lash, lash curlers and just don't like it as much. So this is my OG eyelash curler. My cousin cut her eyelashes off one time and I didn't know that was an actual thing and it scared me to death. And this one hasn't done that to me, so I stay faithful. Take this Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I have never plucked my eyebrows before. My mom told me if I did, she would ground me. So my eyebrows aren't even, they're very bushy, they're very crazy. I usually use like gel in my eyebrows, but then they're just still a little uneven, so I started using soap. Uh, it's fragrance-free, it's like glycerin soap, and just get a little wet. Take like a mascara brush or an eyebrow brush and just go like this. You want it light because you don't want any buildup on it, but I just like how messy and it just stays and I like how you can control the shape a little more. I mean, soap, you guys. I've actually been on sets where they try to pluck my eyebrows and I don't love them. I'm too scared. I usually just take like a wash rag and any product on your lips. Then I take this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I love how it just makes your lips fuller. And even though I tend to just use chapstick, I can kind of mix the chapstick in with my lip liner and it still looks like I did my lips with half the work. I use this Clarins, like a lip oil, but it has a little bit of a tint. So this is my final soft glam look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something or enjoyed yourselves. I wish that I would have had a video like this when I was younger so that I could have learned some tricks about my skin. But thanks guys, bye.